This project is a collaboration with the Seattle Art Museum's Conservation Department and my research lab at Portland State University and funded by the National Science Foundation. I'm Tammy lasseter Clare, and I'm an assistant professor in the chemistry department at Portland State University. And this week, my research lab has been studying some of the protective coatings on the artwork here in Olympic Sculpture Park. These coatings could be clear coatings, or they could be pigmented, which are both decorative and protective. And so we're trying to determine when the coatings start to degrade and break down before there's actually damage to the underlying artwork. There are three individuals from my lab working here. Alice England is a postdoctoral fellow. She's been in the lab since February, and she's a graduate of UC Berkeley. Additionally, there's Katie Hosbein and Natasha Swartz, two graduate students, doctoral candidates at Portland State University. One of the long-term goals of this project would be to have a tool that the park here could use, as well as other conservators at different museums, that would give you a test to determine if the coating is still protective, meaning that it still has good barrier properties, so it doesn't allow water or other pollutants to go through the coating and corrode the metal. For this particular piece, we're interested in a couple of different aspects. We're interested to see whether the coating uh, deteriorates at a more rapid rate, um, depending on whether the uh, flat pieces are facing north or south or east or west, depending on their orientation. And we're also interested in looking at differences in the coating um, where there are areas of obvious corrosion starting already underneath the paint. And so there is a particular area here that we're going to be looking at more closely. And so Katie is starting to take a measurement. We're getting a general idea of the thickness of this painted surface before we start our measurements. Alice is applying um, small pieces of gels that we're using in our measurement. And we're using a non-destructive electrochemical method uh, to determine when the coatings become permeable. Corrosion is an electrochemical degradation process. So by using the very same technique that is also the same cause for deterioration of the artwork, we can figure out when the coatings are actually allowing those electrochemical processes to happen. The cage helps us to eliminate stray electromagnetic noise. And so working in an outdoor environment, there's a lot of stray electromagnetic noise. We can hear some audio sounds, honking of horns and jackhammers. So believe it or not, this little cage helps us to exclude all of those external noise sources. It's called the Faraday cage. Yeah. One of the added complications of working with this particular sculpture today is the temperature here is about 90 degrees and so this black painted sculpture is radiating heat and causing a little bit of interference with our measurements. So. But these are some of the challenges um, that we encounter in working in the field that we don't encounter working in the lab. And so from our studies in this first year, we're going to go back to the lab and figure out ways of perfecting our field techniques to make them better and more useful and widely adoptable by museums worldwide. As chemists, we are rarely afforded the opportunity to get outside of the lab, let alone see sunshine. So we're very grateful to both the National Science Foundation, Portland State University, and also the Seattle Art Museum for working with us and giving this opportunity to see how this works in the field. It's a great opportunity to combine our passions of science and artwork. We've learned a lot this week with troubleshooting and we'll definitely be able to improve for next year when we come back. It's a three-year project. This is the first of three years, and so we'll be coming back annually at least once per year to further monitor the coatings and determine when they start to fail. Another aspect of the work is trying to educate the public about the role of science and conservation in maintaining works of art. Oftentimes when people visit sculpture parks and visit museums, they don't think about the science that happens within the artwork. This is really exciting for us because one of the aims of our department that we're really trying to push as well as just taking care of the art, getting it ready for exhibition, is uh, bringing a little bit more science into our program and into what we present to the public as well. So this National Science Foundation project allows us to study the sculpture and specifically to study the coatings on the sculpture. So 
And that's important because that coating is the frontline protection against the elements here. And as you can imagine, they're pretty severe here. We're next to the salt water, we're in an urban environment, and that has an impact on the preservation of the sculpture. So we're really excited about the project.